Hello and welcome back again to LinuxJobber.com where we prepare you for your next Linux job. My own name is Sean Me Joseph and my email is showpopulous at gmail.com. Please feel free to send me any questions and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Now for today we will be looking at uh, on our website LinuxJobber.com we will be looking at package management. So let me scroll down to package management and if you look down here you see it's module 14 called package management now these are the videos that are available as tutorial if you want to learn about it before you do the practice questions but today we'll be doing the practice question here number 14 so now the first question here says to run the script to get the yum server information which will give you the host name and the FTP location of a private yum repository then as the student you will now create a new repo file called pack.repo in your yum in your yum dot it's in your etsy.yum.repos d dot d folder and point it to the address of the private yum repository which we have already created here now enable the practor repo file that you just created and disable all that all other repos in the directory let's get started with that question now the, the question does not ask us to create the yum repository itself which is on the server side but I'll show you what I did to create it just to make sure that you understand what is happening now the goal of this is to have an RPM somewhere and make the computer understand that that RPM folder is a yum repository for other server, other machines to get their information from so do, you can do you can get the rpms in many different ways so if you have a cd you can copy all your rpms from that cd and there will be a folder in that cd called base if it's an installation cd it will be the a base base rpms then you get all those folders and put them in your in where you want to use as repository if you don't have base you probably have updates or something else anyway just get your rpms the way that i got my rpms is what i did was that i did a sudo i did a sudo i downloaded a a folder i did downloaded a package called yum download only which will help me grab packages on the internet so i yum installed yum download only and when I did this yum install in fact let me just put it in here just so you see just so you see um, hmm, what happened here it's already installed on my machine so it's giving me an error sudo yum no not installed yum install download only and So, okay, so here's what happened. It's already installed and this machine is already configured, but that's how you install it. You, you do yum install yum download only. And once you get that package, I, I'll show you why we're getting this error in a little bit. Um, once you install that package, then you do a yum install create repo. Now this is what's gonna tell your computer to turn your folder your RPM folder into a repository now the next step is to is to trick your computer to download files instead of installing them so you do a sudo still and you do a yum install but now you use the download only package that you just downloaded download only and then you specify which directory 
you want to put the, the folder that the RPMs that you're bringing down if you're using my method you can also use CD now I put my folders in um, equal to var FTP pub now I use this because this is where FTP serves its files from so that that way I can use FTP as the uh, repository protocol so that anyone who wants to access my repository can use FTP there are all other protocols there's HTTP that people can use and they can use also use file but in my case I'm using FTP because the question wants the question is asking for FTP so now when you do this you install download only um, so what package do we want to install now I install you can do yum update which will bring down a bunch of RPMs but I just installed only one RPM which is nmap yum install nmap so what this will do is that it will bring down this package and put it in this directory for me this directory here it will put it there for me so now let's take a look at what I have inside that directory ls dash l var FTP pub. If you look at it, I have this folder. It's an RPM. Now, if you want to create an actual repository, you need to <clears throat> you need to bring down plenty of RPMs, all the RPMs that you can get, and put in your repository, all the RPMs that are coming from the folder. But I'm just using this as a as a tutorial, so I only brought down one, only one package you are going to bring down plenty if you are actually creating an actual repository I'm just using this as a test so now I change into that directory FTP pub and then I use the tool that I also downloaded that I also installed called create repo in this directory I use it with a sudo and once you do the create repo that will now give you this other folder called repo data. The repo data contains all of the metadata that your computer needs to know that this folder is now a rep it's not a yum repository. So you would have a bunch of RPMs that you put in there. In my case it's just one for tutorial purposes and then you have the repo data folder. Now we already have a yum repository so now you may have to go and open up your FTP firewall and start it service VS FTP daemon start you, you you probably need to do this to get your um, your repository uh, to get your FTP service running but in my case I've already started it so I'm getting an error because this user is doesn't have permission. So if you do a sudo and and you do this, it will start the <coughs> F, it, it will start start the FTP daemon for us. So now the server is ready. This is the server mini deal, and now it's ready. Now we go to the client where the question is asking us to do work now so now let's go to the client so right now we're on the client it says to set up the let's see what it says to do so now it says to get the information of the FTP hostname and FTP location of your own, your own repository that I can already tell you the hostname hostname is minidel and in my case is at show domain 
com. That's my host name. If you want to write it down, that's fine. But that's my host name. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down, and then the FTP location would be FTP. Um, mini Dell dot show domain dot com slash pub because this is where FTP is going to this is the folder that we used before so now we get we have all that set so now let's look at what the question says it says to create a repo file in here in yum dot repos dot d and point it to the address of the yum repository enable the practice the practice repo and disable all other repositories so now let's go and create let's look in that folder first change that change directory to etsy yum dot repos dot d it lists this hmm. we're gonna move all of this from here to disable them so let's see what we have in here let's see if we have a junk folder okay so the junk folder is empty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything in yum.repos.d here all to junk so I I moved everything from everything inside the this folder yum.repos the D I cleared out the directory completely so if you do an LS there's nothing there so if, in our case if you now do a yum repo list there's a zero repo list there's no we don't have no we're not, we're not connected to any repository so what I need to do now is to now create a repository called practice repo I can do it from scratch or I can just copy one of the existing ones um, uh, let's pick ba base let's pick base but you can pick anyone you just copy and bring it in here and then you rename it move base.repo to the question says pract.repo so I renamed it to pract.repo so if you do a less now you will now see only pract.repo now pract.repo still is not pointed to the right place so we have to go and point it so we do vi pract.repo and um, we don't want we only want one stanza which is the which is only one because we only have one repo configured so all other stanzas below it I'm going to delete I do not want updates and all of this so now let's take out everything under here so now I deleted that by mistake so now GPG, GPG check we don't want um, a uh, uh, encryption check and uh, we want to enable enable equal to one so that it will work now we don't have this base URL and we don't have this mirror list and this is not the name of our server in the name of our repository the name of our repository that we want to call it we want to call it test <coughs> practice repo it's just something I made up and here we, we can use the same name given before pract.repo characters are not allowed up here so I call it pract repo and to now point it where it needs to be you're going to say um, biz URL equal to the FTP show domain no mini del dot show domain 
dot com. Now that's what we have. So now if we do a yum repo list it's the status is still giving us an error because something is wrong loading mirror something is wrong in there so we have to fix that error okay one mistake that I can see here is that um, it looks like this is not complete okay this is not complete dot com slash pop the folder we put this in is called pop you, you can put any folder any amount of folder that you want so if we do a repo list oh very good so now you can see that we have one repo listed one repo listed originally we have zero lip repo listed now we have one full repo and then now we are connected to it and now we can actually access all of the RPMs using this as a repo I hope you enjoyed my video let me see if I've answered all the questions enable the practice repo we did the enable equal to one and disable all other repos we moved all other repos away or you can just set them to enable equal to zero thank you very much for watching this video this is done my own name is show populous my own name is showing me joseph my email is show populous at gmail.com this is linuxjobber.com where we prepare you for linux jobs so please send me an email and i'll be sure to answer them answer your questions for you thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day